Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see the usage of templates in Django framework. So in our previous session, we have seen how can we create an app or how can we create a project and where we have to write some HTML content and how it can be displayed on the home page. So for that, one thing we have seen, we have to uh, activate the virtual environment and in that virtual environment we are supposed to run the server first and then in the browser we are going to execute so this is the thing we have learned so there will be URL where the user gives their request and based upon the user request the corresponding view will be selected and that view will be selecting the appropriate model that means whatever the data which is available in the back end that will be retrieved and there will be a template where we can store the html files and we can also place the complete data which we are retrieving from the model into this particular template so so far we have not created any template right so this is the mvt architecture so model view template okay Mo model view template now in this session we'll see uh, what is the use of template and uh, how can we execute the html file from the template so so far we have not created the template we have written the complete html code in the view only right in the view in the two particularly in the user defined function we have written the html file now we can create a template and we can save the html file in the template and from the view we can access that particular html file which has been uh, created in the templates folder now we'll see first let us uh, activate the virtual environment so for that uh, we know go to the command prompt and uh, cd envs this is a folder and uh, cd django project this is a project folder sorry just wait we'll see yeah cd django underscore project yes and cd scripts and here we need to use a activate uh, command for going to the virtual environment you can see right we are in django underscore project environment come back and we have created a different projects so in that uh, let us go with the web page okay so cd web page and here you will be finding the manage.py so which is which will be used to run the server so execute that one python manage.py run server so we have executed and uh, you can open the web page and just go with this particular IP address we will get the home page so I am opening the home page so 127.0.0.1-8000 okay so already we have created some code in VS code so that is being executed right so let us open the VS code no problem let us open the vs code so i'll close all the existing folders we will open the folder new folder so open folder uh, go to the envs django project and web page right so here we'll create web page select folder now you can see it has been created so this is the thing we have done in our previous session so forget about these apps we have created the apps and we have executed that one right so uh, yes yeah now you can see uh, we have done some views so in that we have seen uh, two different web pages home and subscribe right so here we are writing the complete html content so instead of writing this one this is a static that right so we can use the templates in order to display the content dynamically on the web page so this is a static right so now so we can't write the complete uh, code 
the javascript css and everything in this particular portion right so that's why we will be creating one folder called templates and that's not a mandatory you can give any name no problem but uh, as our uh, mbt architecture there is a template we are calling it as a template model view template so we will uh, create a template folder and there we can create a number of html files and we will call that html file in this particular view right now we'll see that so go to the folder the project and click on this one you will be getting the blue border if you got the blue border there you just create a folder see this is a file and this is a folder so create a folder give the name okay for placing all the html files so we can give the templates you, this is not mandatory to give the same name so you can give any name no problem so i am creating one folder called templates and in the template i am creating one new file called a welcome.html so this is a welcome.html and here you can uh, go with the thing so you can write the complete code here so title um, template in django right and here i'll write a body and here i'll write h1 yeah hi sandy welcome to templates concept in django framework right so i have written some some code right so this is i have written completely in a separate html file so this is a html file here you can give the complete html css as well as the javascript whatever it may be now what we have to do means so we need to refer this welcome in a views file so in views so i'll remove this one okay i'll remove this one and home okay request http response uh return you, you need not go with the http response right so we need to load the html file from the templates folder so here we are instead of using http response we need to use render rendering means taking the html files from one place and executing so render takes some uh, input parameters one is a request so based upon the request itself it have to bring the web so what is the file name what is the file name so which file we are getting so that file name is uh, what we have done so welcome.html right welcome.html so put it in the single quotations that is a file name which we want to get the data right so and see uh, if you execute still we will be getting an error one more pending is there yes so go to the urls and uh, yeah i will remove all the things i'll remove all the things so path and i'll go with the uh, double quotations so what is a home page uh, what is the definition home right so go with the home and uh, what is the next one that is a name we need to give the name can give the same name okay so comma differentiation with the comma so save the file and once again we'll execute whether we'll get the data or not no we are not getting the data right so what happens what happens go to the command prompt see name home is not defined home is not defined now we have to define okay here we have not imported this home because in views we have written the user defined function as home and here we have to import that home so from dot views uh, import home now you can execute uh, and let us check whether it has been executed or not yes so we got it we got it and make sure you need to change it in the settings page so in this dir and here also you need to change so os dot um, wait is a module and you need to take the path dot join and here we need to give 
base dir in the base directory we are creating the templates folder because uh, whatever the folder we are created so make sure this it should be happen and os module make sure uh, os module has been imported so here there is no os module also give import os so save it and uh, yeah render welcome.html request uh, this is a thing we have written here and now execute so that so it will be get executed so it was not executed once we'll check okay so here you can observe the web server has been stopped now again once again i will uh, run this uh, web server yes now you can execute yes so we got hi send it welcome to templates concept in django framework so this is how we are uh, executing so here you can observe in views we are not writing the complete html content instead of that we are creating one template folder and we are creating one html file and we are calling that html file in this place in the views right so what happens if you user so whenever you, you open the browser and if you give the url automatically it will go to the urls page and it will check the path home name and index so home is a user defined function which will be available in the views so it will check with the views so it will check with the corresponding view and it will render that means it will get the data from the welcome.html to the browser so where it has been located welcome.html in the settings we have given the complete details of the templates so template so base directory in the base directory we have created the folder templates from that we are getting the data of this particular html content so if you want to change the name so you if you don't want to give the name and if you want to give the name uh, based upon the user request right so then what we have to do is so here itself after the uh, file name uh, just go with the next parameter give the dictionary and give the name as yarvish okay so i'll give saradi i'll give saradi now right so i should get the name in the html page in this place so whatever the name i am giving in the views that should be displayed here so for that i am using the double curly braces and double curly braces i need to give name so that whenever you had these uh delimiters double curly braces that implies that's a variable and it should get the value from somewhere else so where from where it will be getting from views render request uh based upon the request it will load the welcome.html with a name sarati now we will check whether it has been executed or not so previously we are getting hi sandeep and now uh let us check yes here we are getting hi sarati welcome to templates concept in django framework so this is how we can get the data okay and uh, see uh, here also or else you can also give here so data is equal to and here you can pass a dictionary some name and uh, i'll give it here sarabi and directly we can give the name here right instead of giving the complete dictionary you can pass it data so here also you will be getting the same thing hi sarathi welcome to templates concept in django framework so what we are doing is for user enters the uh, request that means url so it will come to this url.py and from here it will be importing the home home is a user defined page so where our code existed so in views so you will be have you will be writing a different uh, user defined functions each will represent different views right so it will select the appropriate user defined function so simply you can treat it as a function call this is a function call and this is a function definition so it will be get executed so here rendering means it will it will load the data welcome.html with this particular data right and make sure in the settings also you need to change the templates where, where you have created the templates folder and that should be given here itself right so as of now uh, i'll stop here in our next session we will see how can we fix a template 
um, in the templates page and whether we can represent the data in that particular template or not right so here now we are what we are doing we are creating some welcome.html and just we are calling that welcome.html in the views page but in our next session we'll see how can we represent the data in this welcome.html right so as of now i'll stop here I hope you you enjoyed the session and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.